Speaking of justice, this was a hidden gem from uh, Stephen Crowder. Crowder went undercover, James O'Keefe style, or one of his staff members went undercover, James O'Keefe style, and spoke to the top spokesman for the Southern District of New York. So this is a top spokesman for the DOJ, specifically Southern District of New York, which is where one of the places where Trump was being prosecuted. And this guy, Nicholas Biaze, Biaz, public affairs director for this office, admitted on hidden camera that the Trump prosecutions are a perversion of justice. Before he decided to prosecute Trump, did you know who he was? I do now. Al yeah. Who I, I've known for 15 years. Mm-hmm. He used to work in my office. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not sure what he wants to be, but I know he's not happy just being the DA in New York County. So that would be very ambitious. Every real estate person in New York does what he did. Nobody's ever been charged with this. Um, so him, you know, it's a perversion of justice. Yeah. He was stacking charges and like, rearranging things just to make it fit a case. No, to be honest with you, I think the case is nonsense. State levels are wild west. There are like idiots, they don't care, they're all political. Um, so yeah, this guy's probably going to try to lock them up. And there is going to be, it's going to be ugly. They're so obsessed with getting here. Who, who, who is they? The Democrats are so obsessed with getting him that they're going to pervert justice and, and do anything, no matter how ugly. That's true. And I, it's, I guess it's got, you always feel kind of bad for these guys who think they're going on dates and then they're <laughs> spilling the beans. And, and, uh, but it's important to do because here you've got the top flack, the guy whose job it is to shill for the DOJ in the Southern District of New York. And he's admitting on camera, yeah, this is a complete perversion of justice. Alvin Bragg is way ambitious and it's, it's really bad. Yeah, but that video won't change anyone's mind. Everyone knows that. The Democrats might tell us publicly that the reason they're prosecuting Trump is because no one is above the law. But, if, you know, they want to abolish prisons <laughs> and they want, they want to let all the criminals go free. So this isn't about anyone being above the law. They want to ignore the law. This is about getting Donald Trump getting revenge on the man who wasn't supposed to win in 2016. And then even uh, probably the most charitable interpretation you could take is this is about stopping literal Hitler. Democrats have gone all in and said that Donald Trump is literal Hitler. Well, if he's literal Hitler, then you can do anything to stop him. Anything would be justified, according to the liberal mindset. This actually ties into what we were talking about during uh, that controversial Tucker Carlson interview about World War II last week when I said, you know, people are focusing on the history, and, uh, you know, I, I thought the uh, the interview went a little soft on the mustache man, as I pointed out, and was a little bit of a selective history, and so the history is being debated. But I said, it's really, the, the history isn't really the point here. The point that is salient and that is interesting is the point on how history plays into myth, because all polities require some kind of myth, some kind of narrative that gives us a lens through which to view our present society, and World War II being the, the biggest, craziest, deadliest war ever, is of course going to play a large role in that, putting, putting aside any other political considerations. And so what, what did we get out of the, the myth following World War II? Well, you get the, the person of Hitler, who the real Hitler, the historical Hitler, very, very evil man, did lots of very, very evil things. But not even Hitler was Hitler in the sense that the, the, the role that Hitler plays in our, in our mythos is, is as the incarnation of absolute evil. We don't call people the devil anymore. We don't say, that man, he's the devil. That man, he's Satan. We say, no, that guy, he's Hitler. That guy's literally Hitler. Hitler has now become a substitute for the devil. And this myth has, has in a way created the mirror image of Christianity. In Christianity, you have the incarnation of absolute good. And what a society desires is to be, to be most like Jesus. You know, what would Jesus do? In uh, this modern liberal conception, there is no incarnation of absolute good. 
It's not merely that you have good and then evil is the privation of the good. It's that you have the incarnation of absolute evil and then good is just a, a kind of privation of evil. The thing you want to do is not be the most good. It's not, it's not to be the most like our Lord. Uh, the thing you want to do is, is be the least like Hitler. <laughs> you know, are you more or less a Nazi? <laughs> it's kind of the question. And, and, uh, so in, in this case, the Democrats have defined Trump. They've said, no, he, but yeah, Reagan was, was Hitler and George W. Bush was Hitler. And even Mitt Romney was kind of Hitler probably, but Dick Cheney was definitely Hitler, even though Dick Cheney now supports the Democrats, so he's not Hitler anymore. But Trump, that guy now, in the year of our Lord, 2024, that guy is literally Hitler. So we can do anything to stop him. That's, that's why the video won't change minds. It's, it feels good that uh, at least we're not being totally gaslit. We're not having to pull our hair out. You know, the libs are admitting, yeah, we're right. The conservatives, rather, are right. The, the prosecutions of Trump were a total perversion of justice. But it doesn't matter because we're, we're beyond the law. We're beyond the Constitution. When you face an existential, this is a salient political point. When you face an existential threat to the entire polity, the, the rules can be broken in order to save the rules. Because the rules are for the body politic, not the other way around. Our country is not for the Constitution. The Constitution is for the flourishing of our country. So, okay, Trump is literally Hitler. January 6th, January 6th is the worst day in the history of the world. Uh, Trump constitutes an existential threat to the republic, as, as Joe Biden said, launched his presidential campaign on that. They're still saying it, many of them, even after uh, President Trump was nearly assassinated. So, okay, yeah, you caught the DOJ spokesman admitting it's all bogus, but doesn't matter. We're going to do it anyway. We've got to stop Hitler.